I recently moved to Austin, Texas, and I want to create a memory book of my time here. So I'm going to use Capstone's pen and ink capabilities to draw a map of Austin. This is the Colorado River, which runs through the heart of downtown Austin. And these are the two highways, which also intersect the city. The Capstone project is organized around the concept of boards. Boards are spaces where you can organize your thoughts in a highly visual and spatial manner. Boards can contain text, hand-drawn notes, images, web pages, and many other kinds of media, even other boards. In my memory book, I want to have a space dedicated to my favorite coffee shops and breweries in East Austin. I can use a board to collect and organize my East Austin memories. I can use a Capstone Sidecar app to add things from my other devices to my memory book. I live right near the UT campus, and I already have this Longhorns logo on my desktop, so I'm going to use a Sidecar app to add it to my memory book. I just drag it into the Sidecar, and it shows up in a special area called the Shelf. The Shelf is a staging area and a workspace you can use to organize things in Capstone. I also want to add a few other things which I can find on the internet. I can use the Capstone Clipper Chrome extension to send things directly from my browser to my memory book. I can use Clipper to send images, like this image of a scooter, which are everywhere in Austin. And I can use Clipper for entire web pages. When I first moved to Austin, there was historic flooding, and I want to make sure to record that. Now, both the web page and the image are in my memory book. We call the content on boards cards. Cards can be manipulated in a variety of ways. For example, there really are a ton of scooters in Austin. So I can mirror the scooter card by pressing with a finger and dragging with a pen. Now, I can place these scooters all over the city. Cards can also be resized by dragging the bottom right corner with a pen. If I want to remove a card, because there are just too many scooters, I can drag the card to the top edge of the board, and it will be removed from the board. The Capstone project is built around spatial navigation, so you can zoom forwards and backwards in space. For example, I can zoom in just a little bit if I want to look at these breweries, or I can zoom in all the way if I want to interact with the cards here. And of course, you can zoom back out. A few weeks ago, I took a day trip out of Austin, and I want to add memories from that day trip to my memory book. So let's zoom out even further, and now I can add memories from that day trip to my memory book. The Capstone project supports arbitrary nesting of boards, so you can organize and navigate your thoughts in a rich spatial manner. 